Hello, YouTube and Facebook followers. This is uh, Half Man, Half Cichlid. In my last video, I uh, mentioned that I've been able to achieve zero nitrates in three of my aquariums. And in the last video, I talked about my 500 heavily stocked predator large hap uh, aquarium and, and what uh, were the systems I had put in place to, uh, to achieve, uh, in essence, a system where nitrates are consumed faster than they're produced by the fish, leading to, uh, I think, last time I checked, I was at 10 parts per million. Now I want to introduce you to my 200-gallon, uh, I call this my Amazon Biotype Aquarium. I've got fish in here from other areas of the world, but but between the angelfish and uh, some of the South American cichlids, uh, you know, I still kind of refer to it as a biotype aquarium. Uh, the tank is actually relatively uh, well stocked. I've got uh, seven blue Pinoy uh, angelfish, which you can see. I've got five relatively large uh, where are they? Congo tetras. I've got some up-and-coming uh, denison barbs, five of them. I've got uh, some five to six inch and, and five of them. These are uh, South American cichlids, uh, threadfin Acaras, which which I absolutely love. But in any event, uh, this tank with uh, a water change every three months was, uh, excuse me, three weeks, was running at about 30 parts per million. A month ago, after a water change, uh, it was down to 10 parts per million. And over the last eight days, I've checked the, the tank three times and it's zero. So this, this video is going to be about this tank and what I'm doing to achieve uh, zero nitrates. It's uh, somewhat different in certain respects, which, which you'll find out, but still there's a uh, heavy focus on uh, uh, aquaponics. Enjoy. The uh, first system I'm going to talk about is a 12 gallon hang on back uh, filter. It, it's actually a DIY. Again, 12 gallons. The biomedia I can put in this uh, unit is at 8 to 10 times what you can put in a uh, FX6. And uh, on the surface of this hang on back, I've got an LED light that. Uh, provides light for the growth, accelerated growth, excuse me, of water lettuce, which as I mentioned in previous let uh, videos, is uh, one of the top hydroponic plants used commercially and uh, you actually used in third world countries to consume impurities in, in water, actually converting uh, sewage in some areas to drinkable water. So anyway, in, in this uh, shot, you can see the, the hang on back. You can see the upper area where water uh, passes from the tank into the, the filter via J-tubes. I've got a uh, top on there to uh, hold in the humidity, which helps uh, accelerate the growth of the water lettuce. What I've done, done now is remove the LED light and the top cover and I'm showing you the water lettuce that's uh, growing in this uh, again DIY hang on back. Uh, this accelerated growth chamber, about 50% of this uh, water lettuce needs to be removed every 10 days so it grows very rigorously its roots extend down 
three or four inches, which still allows uh, a lot of room for uh, for sponges that I have in here to uh, to maximize uh, the conversion, the nitrogen cycle uh, conversion of ammonia and other fish waste into nitrates, which uh, again the uh, the water lattice then consumes. Now in addition to the water lettuce that's growing in the hang on back filter, uh, in my estimation I have about 25 to 30 percent uh, of the top of the 200 gallon aquarium covered with uh, the water lettuce. And uh, you can see it's very robust and uh, well-growing plant does not grow as fast as the plants I have in the hang, hang on back with the uh, grow lights but, but this uh, this water lettuce is doing extremely well and uh, I suspect it's probably doing heavy lifting as far as uh, uh, consumption of uh, nitrates Now the last thing I'm going to cover on this 200-gallon uh, aquarium and uh, the systems I'm using to uh, achieve zero nitrates. Uh, as with the 500-gallon aquarium, I basically have no substrate. Again, I'm using a uh, aqua decor bottom mat with a small amount of uh, gravel for the uh, the South American cichlids to uh, you know do their thing, picking it up and and uh, moving it. So anyway, uh, this this too is a vital and important part of what I'm doing here in uh, getting rid of uh, essentially a, a substrate bed that serves as a kind of a holding tank for uh, nitrates. You know, lastly and in closing, uh, I mean, you may be wondering where do we go, where do I go next with uh, the systems. Uh, it, you know, I'm going to continue obviously to, uh, to tweak these systems. I'm going to continue to monitor the nitrates. Uh, part of the next phase two will be uh, testing for uh, other water parameters such as uh, iron and calcium to understand if there's any uh, negative effects. So basically I, d I do want to examine some of the other water parameters that are typically checked by the average aquaria aquarius to make sure that uh, when the plants consume all of these organic wastes and nitrates from the fish, they're not also taking uh, something else out of the water that needs to be uh, uh, replenished. So anyway, hope you enjoyed uh, this update on uh, my one of my favorite aquariums and uh, and uh, actually hitting the uh, zero nitrate uh, uh, level.